So you've just updated your Adobe Premiere Pro to the 2021 version and the caption section is quite different from the previous one. Well, guess what? I've been there and this is a tutorial for you, so let's get started. Oh, you're welcome. Here I am in Premiere Pro, I've already set up a new project with some video in the timeline inside my sequence. I want to show you the version I'm using for Premiere Pro. As I said, this is the 2021 version of this software and the version is the number 15. Let's start by saying why and when we use and we need captions and subtitles in our video projects. Sometimes, as we're filming outdoors in particular, maybe the wind is so strong that it's gonna blow inside the microphone covering our voice. And I'm gonna show you an example. The view is amazing, guys. You definitely need to visit Jerusalem. You need a lot of time here. So I definitely recommend a week. There's so much history. So what I'm saying is not very clear and I want to help my audience in understanding what I'm talking about by adding the subtitles over my video. Another instance when I'm using subtitles is, for example, to translate my video in another language. It's also great and very useful nowadays on social media because people don't have time to actually listen to your videos and they scroll very quickly. So the subtitles is a good way to stop your viewer and let them know what you're talking about even if they're not listening to you. Now, what's different in the caption section in the 2021 version of Adobe Premiere. First of all, I want you to go to window and go and select the workspace called captions. So the workspace will change. And the important thing for us now is to see the text panel right there, but also the program panel. So we see what's happening and the essential graphics. In the previous versions of Adobe Premiere Pro, we used to go to file, new, and here there was a voice saying captions. So we could add some captions from here, but now we can find them under sequence, scroll all the way down to captions, add new caption track. So to add a new caption track, you can either press here or go in the text panel and just click on the create new caption track button, as it says. So let's create one from here. Format, I want to create subtitle. We're not gonna go through all the different ones, but let's go to subtitle and style none, because we can do that as well in a second. Press okay. Another difference is before the new caption was created in the project panel, but now in this version of Adobe Premiere Pro, we actually have a new track on the timeline already inside our sequence. And that track is above all the other video tracks. So there it is. It's right here and it says subtitle. Now, how do we actually add a new subtitle clip on the subtitle track? First of all, I'm gonna go at the beginning of my timeline, right there. And here in the text panel, there is a plus button that says add new caption segment. I'm gonna click here and a new clip of the subtitles has been created. The default duration of this clip is three seconds. So whenever you create a new subtitle clip, the duration of that clip will be three seconds. And here you can start type as before your subtitle. So I'm just writing random stuff. Mamo is an idiot. All right. And if you look at your track now on the timeline, you have a clip and that works more or less exactly like a video clip. Also in the program panel, you can see your subtitle right under your video. And here we go, this is the building, guys. So far, so good. Before we understand anything else, I want to show you how to customize the font, the color, and the subtitle track. If you're on the timeline, you want to press on your clip here, and in the essential graphics panel, uh, the menus will pop up, okay? So from here now, you can choose the font, as I mentioned, so you can go to text, and I'm gonna type Arial, that's one of my main fonts. Press OK and your font has been changed here on the program panel in the subtitle track. You can also change the size of it. So I go to 100. <laughs> it's quite big. And you can change the alignments. You can change the position of it. So the zone, if I want to put it at the top of my frame, 
I click here if I want to center it, I click on this square and at the bottom of my video it's just here at the bottom, center bottom. But of course you can put it to the left or to the right of your frame as well. And of course we can change the color and some of the style here of the, uh, the font and the subtitle. So let's say I want a red subtitle, but I don't want the shadow. I'm just unticking on the shadow and that's my new subtitle. I can add a background or a stroke. And this process is exactly the same like creating new graphics in Premiere Pro. If you want to understand more on how to create graphics in Premiere Pro, go and check this course up here where I'm going to show you how to build the graphic package for your YouTube channel. Now let's say we love this style of subtitle and we want to save it as a preset. Here in the essential graphics we go under track style and if you open up this menu we can create a style. You can just click on this header create style and I'm gonna call it Mamo is an idiot and I press OK and have a look at the project panel now. A new file has been created and this is just the style of your subtitle. We can also save the preset if we want to use it in a different project. We right click on it and we go to export text styles. Now you can browse where you want to save this preset and you can open it up in a new project in the future. Now when you create some new subtitles you can find the new style you've just created right here. So you go to the essential graphics and in track style you can open up this menu and your style will be right there. So you just need to click on it and your subtitles will take the new shape of your style. I skip this part and I'm also deleting this style from this project. You can just click on it in the project panel and press cancel or delete on your keyboard and that's gone. Now how do we add another clip, another section of the subtitles? We can go to the timeline and with your playhead you don't want to be over the previous section otherwise you see the plus is not highlighted, we can't create anything. So what you want to do is to go just beyond your first section, for example here at 3 or 4, and now the plus is highlighted, I can create a new section. So I'm going to press here and type whatever you want to type. So you are right. It's referred to Mamo is an idiot, by the way. And another three second section appeared on your timeline. Let's create a third one because I'm going to show you some stuff. So I'm going to move here to whatever, 6, 17, and I'm going to add a new section, blah, blah, blah. Okay, just random, just random words and letters. I want to show you how to delete a section of the subtitles if you don't need it. Well, very simple. You can either do it from here from the text panel, so you click on the one you don't want and press the delete button. I'm gonna do that, or we can also select the clip on the timeline and press delete or cancel as well. And that's gone, very simple. How do we change the durations of the sections? Well, straightforward, as a video clip on the timeline, I simply drag it from the right hand side or the left hand side. Let's say I want to modify the cut of the two sections. I press N on the keyboard and now I go just over the cut here between the two sections until this icon becomes red and I simply drag to the right or to the left the clips until I'm happy. Now let's say I made a mistake and I want to add a new section between these two sections. What I can do is to go to the section number one here, or whatever, number two, in my case I want to change the section number one. I select it and I go here to this icon that says split segment and click on it. And now we have two new sections right there with the same text in it. So what we want to do is to go to the second and just change the text. Also you can see that on the timeline we have now three different clips. But once again I'm not happy with it, let's say I want to merge them together. So I select the first one on the text panel, I hold shift on the keyboard and select the second one and I go to the next icon right here that says merge segments. Press it and now you have the two sections merged together again. And now on the timeline the two merged sections are covering the space that was taken by the two different sections. The next thing I want to show you, let's say I have two languages for my video. 
how do we add a new subtitle track? So not a new section, but a completely new subtitle track. We go to the timeline and here in the subtitle section at the very top of your timeline, we right click on it and we go to add track. And once again, we have the captions menu. We can choose the type of subtitle we want to add. I just go to subtitle. You can choose your style and press OK. The first subtitle track on the timeline has been blinded, as you can see, and now we can work on the new track. If you want to see the original track, you unblind it, but the new track will be blinded, so you can't play two different subtitle tracks at the same time. But let's say that for the two languages, we want to keep the same timing. This is something very helpful. We can just take the clips on the first timeline, press Alt on the keyboard and hold it, and we just drag the clips to the new track, to the new subtitle track. Now, the timings of the clips will be exactly the same, as you can see, and if I unblind the second track and I start typing on the first section, I am cool. There you go, you've got two different subtitles tracks with two languages or two different things. What's left to do is to export your subtitles and you can export your subtitles as a text or SRT files that you can use on other social media like Facebook, for example. If you just want to export your captions as a text file, well, you want to go to the text panel and if you don't see this menu because it might be hidden, just expand the text panel until you see these three dots. This is a menu, so click here and go to export to SRT file or export to text file. So here you can find the format you want to export your subtitle with. If instead you want to export your video with the subtitles burned on the video, then go to the timeline or to the project panel where you have your sequence, click on your sequence, press Command M to open up the export panel, which is right here for me. I'm not going to guide you through the export settings overall and if you want to understand more about how to export your files then check this video or once again check my courses. But in here the important thing is to go to the caption sections right here under the export settings, go to caption and you want to open up this sub menu under the export options header. By default it should be none, you want to open it up and choose burn captions into video. In this way, when you export your file, you will make sure that the subtitles will be burned over your video. What you just need to do now is to browse where you want to save the file and add it to the queue or export it from Premiere Pro. I'm going to close everything up and that's all for today. I hope this tutorial was helpful because I had to spend a bit of time to understand how the captions worked as soon as I updated my software. If it was helpful or you enjoyed the video anyway, hit the subscribe button, the like button and I can't wait to see you in the next tutorial, next vlog, next video. Who knows? Just stay tuned right here. Thanks for watching. Seems all good times come and go, you know.